Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Mo. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust a single color in Adobe Premiere Pro. Have you ever wondered how to adjust just one color in your videos? Maybe you've already handled your white balance and adjusted all your colors so they look fantastic, but there's just one that's not quite right. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily adjust a single color in Adobe Premiere Pro without adjusting the other colors in your video. This has so many different uses, whether you're using two different camera angles and one doesn't quite match the other, or in the example I'm going to show you, I have an egg and I want the yolk to look much more rich and orange rather than pale and yellow. It looks so much more appetizing after we're done and I can't wait for you to see how to do it. Let's dive in. I'm working here with a clip of an egg frying in a pan. I grabbed this clip off a website called Pexels, which offers free stock videos. And I thought it would make a great example because you can see the yolk in the middle here is a little whitish, a pale yellow, and I want it to look more orange, like a farm fresh egg cracked in a pan. I think that would be much more appetizing to my viewers. So if you had a lot of clips that you wanted to adjust, I would recommend coming down here in the project panel first and clicking on new item, selecting adjustment layer, and then you can just drag that onto the video track above your video. And any clips underneath this adjustment layer will have any changes that you've made. It's just an easy way to make broad adjustments instead of adjusting individual clips. Since I just have one clip here, I'm going to click on that and head to the color panel. And here I'm going to head over to HSL Secondary. I'm going to grab this little eyedropper tool and I'm going to click on the color that I want to adjust, which is this yellow in the middle. Now I can click on this checkbox and it will show me the color I have selected against a gray background. You can adjust that to the color against black or just black and white if that's easier for you. I personally prefer color against black. And now you can see it didn't grab all of the yolk. So we can adjust these sliders And you can see it starts bringing in more of the color. I can also use this eyedropper plus tool to grab more color. And the eyedropper minus tool if there's something that I don't want to include. Now we can choose to add some denoise and some blur if that would be helpful in your situation. I don't like to use too much of those. And we can head down here to the correction where we can choose between a single color wheel or if you'd prefer to work with shadows, midtones, and highlights, you can do that. For this one, I'm going to stick with the single color wheel and I want this to be more orange. So I'm just going to grab this crosshair and drag it up and towards the orange. Now I can uncheck this box and see how we're doing and make sure that I have selected all the colors that I want. I can see up here it's still a little whitish, so I can still click and grab, and that grabbed a lot more color. If you'd like to check between the before and after, you can come up here next to HSL Secondary and uncheck the box, and that's looking much better. You could also adjust using the temperature and tint slider if you prefer. But I'm trying not to get too much of the edge of the egg and the seasoning on here to turn orange as well. It's all up to you and it's about finding balance in what looks best for your needs. And I think that is a much more appetizing egg. That's it. I think you're going to find so many uses for this. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments down below or head over to our Facebook group, which I have linked in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. 
hit subscribe and tap that little bell next to it so it turns on your notifications and you will never miss another video. I am here every Tuesday with a new tip and thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you next time. See ya!